Hello, folks, and welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I'm not just a little crazy, we're all crazy, exactly. We're all just a little nuts. Might be trap. Okay. Might be treasure. Treasure. So we got um, vendor trash, basically. Don't really need the padded armor, so I'm not going to take it. I almost hit the collect all, just in case. Uh, weird red plant, but I'm assuming that's normal. Oh. Finally here. Alan and Curl must be around here somewhere, and John are too if they gave her permission to leave. Ah, there they are. Hmm. Why does this list seem suspicious? Greetings, Sailor. Greeting you, Knight Commander. Sir Alan puts his hands behind his back and bows slightly. Then he casts an inquisitive glance at you. He seems less friendly than he was the day you and met at the Defender's Heart. Jonna puts her hands on her hips. She looks even more dashing than usual. Elon's feeling a little shy. He thought he asked for help from a couple of nobodies like us, but now you've turned to the saviors of Canabras, Knights of the Fifth Crusade, marked by him with his blessing. And you still came to help him dig through a pile of chunk. Ha! <laughs> Sila frowns a little. Let's not talk about it. I assure you, I'm the same Sila, your friend from the League of the Cart. And we came here to help you look for Elon's ring. And by the way, where's Curl? He didn't come with this. He said an old wound was acting up. All right, my friends, since we're here, let's finish this mission quickly. I really don't feel comfortable bothering the Night Commander with my personal problems. Glad we're here to help you, Elan. Hope everything works out perfectly for your wedding, too. I love weddings so much. They're full of joy, new beginnings. But I haven't been in any yet. Can I come? Of course, Lady Ember. Let's hope my bride doesn't run away from the bungler who managed to lose the ring he bought for her. All right, what does the ring look like? Where should we look for it? Last time I saw the ring, it was with my things in my traveling chest. Now the camp's in total disarray. I don't know how well I'll ever find it. The ring's made out of a shiny silver metal with a deep blue-green jewel. You can't miss it. Master Derek's not just a jeweler, he's an artist. There's no mistaking one of his creations. Trinket worth several months' pay, Elon? The rules on the surface are insane. You should give your girl's friend fried rats like we do. You'd save yourself a lot of trouble. Fried rats? Fried rats? Do they have to be specially fried? Do they have to be breaded? Is there, like, a process for the cooking? I'm like, I'm really curious about this. I mean, the taste is just another thing entirely. I'm sure you have to flavor it all different kinds of ways. And, I mean, frying will absolve you of a lot of sins just in and of itself. Do you dip by the tail into the breading and then lay it carefully on the pan? Like, there's just so many different things. I mean, I'm assuming, of course, you do it intact, but you wouldn't have to. I mean, you could always mince it or dice it or anything like that. Fried rats would be used in ex expensive delicacy. I mean, maybe. But also, do they have much in the way of money down in the depths? I mean, there's some form of bartering, so I guess expense might just be a matter of... Um type, really. Anyway. Am I wrong, Ellen? Am I making you nervous? The young knight is obviously embarrassed. I apologize. John is right. Much has changed since we met in Carbonopolis. Some things were the better, some not at all. He stopped short, apparently unwilling to elaborate. Alright, well, let's just go. Let's just do it. John and I will look around the northern side. We'll see you when you find something, or when we give up trying. Alright, so it's not going to be to the north, because they didn't lead us that, that way, so it's to the south. I see the map here. Not a whole lot here. There's loot up there somewhere. Um, there's a dude just passing by, apparently. Uh, anybody over here? I mean, there's not much here. Oh, okay, that's the deer there. What we got here? Well, Moonstone. Old map. Okay, so nothing really here. We could kill the poor deer, but, like, you know, why? Why? There's no reason to do it. Everyone's perception checks are up here, right? The wolf just got a pretty good perception check. I've got a decent one. My tail is twitching. Must be a sign. All right, well, Jeff says something's here. I mean, a flail in the middle of nowhere seems kind of strange, but I guess we're fine. Uh, what about up here? Well, knowledge world there, so it might be something to that. Oh, I need to go all the way around. Okay, it's fine. Look at this thing first. A glaive, which I'm definitely not picking up. But I can pick up everything else. Thank you. Okay, so what do we need knowledge world for? Nino's probably got a good world score, I would expect. Torn flag of the Houndhearts. Small but old noble order seers. 
Okay. Probably nothing specifically wrong with that. Already looked in there. What about over here? I mean, he probably didn't just put it in a chest somewhere and forget about it. It seems like that would be one of the first places you check, right? It's probably underneath a rock somewhere. Or with a dead body, maybe. Oh, okay. There's a demon. A small quasi-demon emerges from the chest. It looks at you angrily, screwing up a little face. It's holding a shiny object in its paws, a sparkling silver ring with a large blue-green jewel. Mine! Mine! Elon, look! Look at that creepy thing! What's it holding? I've seen one of those before. Those small demons like to tease and bully, but a little bold if it senses any real threat. Let's surround it and attack it all together before I can figure out what's what happening. Alright, let's attack it. Oh, color spray! Alright, takes out the companions so they can't do anything. With five health in the party on my... I, I can basically complete several maps and pick everything up before running out of carry capacity. Oh, that's cool. I definitely need to get more carry capacity for sure. The closet throws its part. Pause in the air as far as you are, right? You just see color spray. Yes, yes, I got it. You're instantly giggling. Demon's jumping up and down, throwing the ring in the air and catching it. That seems troublesome, but okay. And if my dex is really good, I can I snatch it out of the air? That'd be really awesome. Elon, Jenna! Silly glances at your friend, then turns to you. They're all right. They come around soon. Quickly, Gower. Let's check the little rascal before it runs off of the ring. All right, so... Oh, I thought we were going to go into attack mode. No, we're going to go follow him. Well, he's leaving, like, blood trail somehow? How'd he go? Oh, there he is. Go, 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 go. Oh, nope, okay. Don't catch me, he says. What are you, the gingerbread man? What the hell over here? Maybe I need to hit him from afar or something? Okay. Maybe we need to... Maybe we need to be stealthy or something. He seems to be running from us. Oh, okay, they're up again. Oh, yep, there we go. We got some sneaks. I think the rogue just stole it. Maybe? Before Alan matches a gift to the closet, the halfling curl appears right next to it, quite out of nowhere. He snatches the ring from the demon's paw. He mustn't get it! Curl? What are you... Oh, Curl said he was injured before. Now he's definitely not. What are you doing? Don't freaking attack your friend. So Sela stopped him. Thrusting herself between Ella and Curl, Sela barely managed to absorb the blow aimed at the halfling. Ellen, stop! Have you gone mad? He's using a summon spell. Why did you stop? Oh, crap. Okay, so Curl's in Lee. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fair. You're, you're a civilian, you should probably go. Alright. Yeah, go ahead and smack some of these guys. Um, now would be a great time for some of that cold iron. And go ahead and shoot any one of these guys, I suppose. I suppose you can take out the closet, just because. Yeah, go ahead and take out the closet. Easy, no problems. Missed the other guy, though. Nino, go ahead and hit him with a nice little blinding ray, maybe? Might work. Okay, did get to attack for opportunity on you, because apparently I didn't think to go five feet away first, so I want you to do that now. Thanks. Alright, Gower, yeah, go ahead and smack this guy. Don't hold back. Oh, still don't have... Yeah, still don't have the attacks up. Well, Jeff, you want to go smack this guy, please? Or, you know, miss him entirely. One of those. Okay, good attack for opportunity. Sila, if you go up on this guy, you and Goward have a... Yeah, you guys have flanks, so you might be able to do something good here. There you go. That's pretty good. Ember, go and take a five-foot step back. Um, back this way, please. Maybe that way. These guys have, um, I believe they're glaives or pole arms or something, so they have extra reach. And what's his stats like right now? Okay, 19. That's not bad. 19's not bad, but I say we go ahead and drop it a little bit further. Drop your AC down so you're a little easier to hit. Though, okay, that failed. So he failed his saving throw. That's great. That means he should, we should probably do attack rolls next. See what he does. 
We go whip. Ooh, that was a big attack, though. You got a sneak attack bonus on me? Elon, anytime you want help here. That's good. That's a start. Okay, you should probably go ahead and take a five foot step back. And then go ahead and smack this guy a bunch. You've crossed the wrong or, you know, mongrel. miss entirely. You need to take another five foot step back just to be on the double save side. Okay. Um, this guy might be a seam into blinding. All right, Yorkie. Thanks for hanging out. Visibility dazzled an evil eye. Oh, he's immune to evil. No, no, he's under effect of evil eye. Okay, that's fine. Uh, he is immune to poison and electricity. But that's it. Okay, that's fine. Which means we could totally do anything we want to. We could probably blind him, we do magic missile, we do a number of things. How about a snowball? Nice, easy snowball. You should be able to read that scroll. I, I trust you can do it. Go for it. Go ahead and snowball this guy. Yes. Yes. Zero. Absolutely no damage whatsoever. And he saved his fortitude throw, so so much for that. You should probably go ahead and pop a potion. Not great, but not horrible. And then go ahead and smack this guy a little bit. Now, and then we'll just come on, smack this guy. Cover me, all right. Okay, you got one sneak attack in. Ooh, scoured down. Wow, that was fast. The inheritor, guide my blade. Doing some small amount of damage, but oh, because of my mythic path. Yeah, we did one divine damage to him. Okay, well, Gower can get up. It's fine. We'll just have to get him up eventually later. Let's do... Let's have immunity to energy, but not fire. Yeah, so we got plenty of firepower. Let's do this. It's something. It's not a lot, but it's something. Okay, so now they're going to go into against Sila, but Sila has a ton of armor, so no worries here. Go ahead and smack him uselessly, unfortunately. Lon, go ahead and hit him here. You won't survive me. There we go. A little bit of more damage. Let's throw a ray of frost here, I suppose. Total whiff. Didn't overcome the spell resistance, so there you go. Goward's down, so we can't do anything. Wooljif, go ahead and stab this guy. Still get sneak attack damage because Sila's right there. Okay, Sila, go ahead and smack this guy. Oh, missed entirely. I don't know why I moved you there, but I did. Ember, go ahead and drop their AC for me, please. Says that was the wrong button. I want this one here. Actually, let's drop his AC. Oh, he totally made that save, so we need to do that again. Alright, a couple of smacks, no big deal. Galen's going against this guy all on his own. Okay, a little bit of damage. Nice. That was a great crit. Um, let's see. I mean, you should probably try to stabilize Goward, maybe? Do that. You go over to Goward and stabilize that crazy talk. Kind of looks like crazy talk. So that's a spell book. I'm going to be under abilities. Um, let's see. Demoralize, Blinding Ray, Treat Affliction. I don't see Stabilize in here. I mean, Goward's going to be fine. It's just... Unfortunate. Alright, magic missile here. Right here. Okay, that's some damage. Power is still down. Wooljif, go right over to the sky place. Whiff. And poke. Good pokes, good pokes. Ooh, okay, you're you're doing okay. You're doing fine. Your ability is just going to smack this guy. Good, so good smacks, good smacks. Then come over to this guy. And you're ready to do something next turn. Ember, go ahead. Oops, keep doing that. I keep expecting to be in her spell work for some reason, but it's not. Drop his AC. Made his will save, but that's alright. He might not survive this turn. Funny how this goes. Good smacks. Good hits. Good hits. Okay, Nino. 
I don't think Blinding Ray is going to do much here, so let's do a nice little cantrip of, I don't know, maybe Dazzle him? Yeah, I made his fork save, so no worries. No worries on his part whatsoever. We'll just go ahead and come up to here and finish this guy off. Or, you know, miss entirely. That's good, too. Unfortunately, he seems to be bad at hitting. And unfortunately, so do we. Ember, you want to see if maybe you can fix that for us? Right there. That's the guy right there. And his save again. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and finish him off here, Lon. We trust you. Endure this. Come on. One more. Yeah, there you go. Elon, what are you doing? You nearly cut down Curl without a second thought, without a trial, without even knowing he was responsible for all this. He might be a victim himself. What am I doing? He lured us into a trap. Curl was the only one who knew where we were going. He knew we thought there wouldn't be anyone at the camp besides some small, harmless demons, so he set a trap. I wouldn't be surprised if his demon masters had him targeting the commander from the start. Talk about believing in the redemption of scoundrels. I barely know anything about what happened. Curl's a good lad. He's not a spy or a murderer. Maybe they threatened him, or tricked him, or even bewitched him with demon magic. And now we'll never know, because you let him escape. Better let a thief escape than cut down an innocent. Alright. Oh, come on. The lawful response is just crazy. No, no, no. The, I'm leaning more towards good. Sila was defending someone that she thought was her friend, and she stopped you from doing something you might regret. Come on. I don't need a shepherd to light my path and save me from regrets. Can you say the same, Sila? Or you, Commander? You clearly has something to say. Go ahead, then. Spit it out. Sila, I didn't want to say this, but I think of you as my friend, so I'm going to warn you. After what happened to the Great Garrison, you're in serious danger. Maybe not just you. You might like to ignore military hierarchy and the rules of knightly orders. There's a wisdom in them that has stood the test of time. A soldier rises from a private to an officer. A knight begins as a squire. Even Emode's paladins gain their abilities gradually, but not with you and the Commander. You were granted incredible powers, far surpassing seasoned paladins with experience and skill far beyond your years. You received this gift at just the right moment and saved a lot of lives across Mendeth. That's a great deed that will be remembered for ages to come. But what happened next was wrong. We began to worship you. The Queen gave you such vast power. All while you sidestep everything. Training, experience, hardship. This is not the first time Her Majesty has behaved rashly. And how much good has this brought Mendev? I'm frightened by what I see, especially by the way you, Sila, trust people so easily and leap into adventure without looking. One day you lower your sword and you should have driven the blade home. It's like thousands of bright-eyed youngsters will after you. Dylan pauses if reluctant to continue, then looks you in the eye. I wanted to tell you the same thing, Commander. Alright, I mean, you're right, Elon, but I didn't choose my lot, and I'm just trying to fulfill my duty as best I can. Okay, at least he accepts that point of view, so that's something. I said it to Sila, and I'll say it again. There wasn't a reproach, but a warning. How are you been given, and maybe your undoing, and the undoing of all the Crusaders along with you? In any case, forgive me for wasting your time, suggesting you to danger here. Now at least we know that Curl's a traitor, and John is a coward ready to banner her friends when the going gets rough. Hope we all learn a lesson from those mistakes. As for that blasted ring, to hell with it. Kiana won't love me solely for the gifts I bring her. Glenn makes no attempt to conceal his disappointment. Nodding goodbye, lowers his head, and walks away. Scylla watches as he leaves. Her expressive eyes are filled with sadness. Everything's become very complicated all of a sudden. Please, Coward, let's go back. I'd like to talk to you about it. Later. I have a lot to think about. Alright, well, we can talk to him later. Anything good here? these guys. Demon Heart, which we can use in our uh, various spells, I bet. Goward is very hurt, so there's probably nothing else here. Like, we had to look around, but I'm pretty sure... I guess we haven't left all the loot. Melted Shard of a Ring. Find all the fragments, artisan with enough skills to restore for you. Okay, cool. Um, Heavy Shield, but it's just regular... Looking for a magic one, but I think Seal already has a magical one. And then one thing over here. Punching dagger, that's fine. Uh, mobility 20 to get over there, which is actually a little tempting. And loot over here. Yeah, go ahead and pick the lock with the hell. You can do it. Well, Jeff, I believe in you. What? No, 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 no. 
Take the lock. You can do this. 80%. There you go. I mean, really, we should have been able to just take 20 there, but whatever. One more thing I'll loot over here. Thank you. Loot over here. And I guess I'll just go ahead and take the sword. Whatever. It has been cut open from the inside. The knight's apparently left in a hurry. Okay, so what about this mobility thing? Lon will probably get us over it. He's got a good score. Actually, it's Wooljiff. Okay, so now we're over on this side with a dead knight. And... Can't hide from me. Oh, there we go. And a magical heavy shield. Pick that up. What do we got? Amber identifies it as Divine Protector. Okay, cool. Anything else around here? Don't see anything. Alright, so we could probably just leave. Let's see if we can use Divine Protector. I'm in a bit of a hurt, but that's okay. So we've got right now Heavy Shield plus one, which is three armor class. Divine Protector is four, so much better. A Mithril Heavy Shield. Francis Wielder, damage reduction five against magic. That's really good. Yeah, do that. Okay, Coward, you were wearing your stuff, just for some reason. That's for your saving throws. And saving throws. Defense bonus to AC there. Yeah, well. And defense bonus against AC, but I'm guessing these don't stack. Yeah, one of these probably doesn't stack with the other. Like, the ring of protection there might not stack with the graves. With the bracers, rather. That might be what's happening. Go ahead and drink that for me. Oh, you know what? You can't drink there. Well, let me grab you this. Really, probably, since we're heading back to camp anyway. Just go ahead and lay on hands here. Lay hands on others, on Gowart. That's horrible. That is actually terrible. That was actually probably the worst lay on hands I've ever seen. Down hearts were clearly attacked by demons here. Yeah, okay, we need that already. I think the way out is over here. I mean, I guess since we're going back, sure, I'll look at everything. We just need to sell it to the Quartermaster. I thought he had a tent. Could have sworn the Quartermaster had a tent. Let's go back up this way. We get got by a patrol or something. We'll find out, I guess, in court order. Then we can talk to Sila and probably rest up. But that, unfortunately, I have to look at my... I did just respect. Let me see. I've got armor class 24. That's not horrible. They must have just had a really good luck. And she has armor class 24 as well. Oh, she's actually got... Oh, you know what? She's totally got damage. I wonder if that happened... That might have been due to poison. Actually, don't remember. Let's go ahead and level these guys up. Uh, you keep on going on the paladin track. We've got three points. We'll just boost, say, this, this, this. Although, you know what? Hold on. Mobility might not be a bad idea to push up a little bit. Let's do that. That way you'll get a little bit less penalty from the armor check. So now, we basically negated the armor check penalty and gone up by one. So that'll be good. You get Mercy. Mercy adds an effect to Paladin's Lay on Hands ability. Whenever Paladin uses Lay on Hands to heal damage, the target also receives the additional effect from all Mercies possessed by the Paladin. Okay. Um, I don't know, Shaken or Sicken. Sicken does seem to come up sometimes. Right, because we have the uh, we have the dretches throwing the I forget what it is, but that big old nasty cloud, and that definitely nauseates. So if we do that, she might be able to help. It's worth a shot. Okay, so you're done, uh, Camilla. We're, I'm, I don't know if I'm ever going to use you again, but assuming I am, you should definitely use magic device. Because that will help you use scrolls. 
Uh, plus your uh, plus your intelligence bonus, so it's not really gonna matter, is it? Well, too late now. How about Nino though? Nino, we've definitely gotta get. Yeah, you've got Scroll Savant. You need to use magic device. We'll normally be able, not able to use, but Arcana is scribing. Identification, which I guess is also good, so we want both of those. As well as just general lore, so there you go. And there you go. Well, you get actual spells. Okay, great. Let's do... You know, hold persons of thought. We probably need... Scene of visibility is good, especially communal. It's a really good idea. And spiked pit. Ooh. Pit is lined with wiggly sharp spikes along its bottom and walls. Take damage as normal, plus due to six of piercing damage from the spikes. The duration of spell ends, the rise of the bottom pit till it's down the surface. Okay. Well, the extra 2d6 points of piercing damage might actually be pretty good. Yeah, let's do Spike Pit. That sounds good. And then for you, what have you got in your Oracle ways? Uh, let's see. We don't really need your Persuasion, but I'll go ahead and get some Knowledge checks out of you. Sure. And one more. Sorry. Uh, persuasion, I suppose. Or no, we don't have to. We could do... Trickery kind of seems like him, but let's do a Music Magic Device. Because he does have a lot of scrolls he can't use. And you've got some spells. Archon's Aura. Now, a creature within a 20 foot radius must survive a will or succeed a will save to resist the effects of the aura or negative two pack attack rolls. He's not in melee enough for that to matter. Cure Serious Wounds is good. Spells also available to Sosil, so that's a thought. Prayer. Plus one luck bonus on attack rolls, weapon damage rolls, saves, heal checks. Ooh, there we go. So this is more what I was thinking about for battle meditation. Is you have a bonus for good people and a negative for your bad for your enemies. This is totally what I thought battle meditation was going to do. But as doing it as a burst, I'm totally good with that too. Alright. Wooljif, what have you got? Keep your Eldritch Scoundrel ways. And I think you should go ahead and use magic device, because that's pretty good. Keep your perception up, keep your stealth up, get your trickery up, because that's going to matter for being able to unlock stuff. Get your mobility up, and there we go. For your spells... Uh, create pits not nearly good. You know, glitter dust probably a good idea. Nini already has it, but a second glitter dust might not be a bad idea. If you get a second move here, mirror image isn't a bad idea either. Hurricane Blow? Oh, that's your arrows. No, 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 that's not going to work. I thought for some reason Hurricane Blow was with, um... Was for the daggers, but that is not true. I thought you already had Blur. Now you have Invisibility. Good. Um, I guess Blur would be like a backup. Command Undead if you want to be Necromantic, but I don't really want to do that. Fox is cutting, plus four enhancement bonus to intelligence. Maybe. Would help with being able to cast more spells. Frigid touch is a touch attack. Ooh. The attacks are critical hit, the target is staggered for one minute instead. Yes, frigid touch right there. Wildrift should be fantastic at that, right? Should always be a critical, you'd think. Okay, Ember. That's right, I wanted to get rid of your webs, huh? Because that was causing us some problems. Well, until we can do that, I guess we could always respec her if we wanted to, but right now we're not going to worry about it. Check from negative conditions. It's a thought. Ooh, stinging cloud. Yeah, here we go. Negated in a 10 foot aura around the witch for a number of minutes equal to our level. Number of minutes, not rounds. Uh, that sounds great. I mean, I like the, he the healing too. Uh, but it's only a Cure Light Wound spell, so I like the Aura of Purity. Let's keep that, shall we? Okay, you get one spell. Cure Serious Wounds is a thought. Ooh, Lightning Bolt. Nini already has it, though, so... 
probably don't really need it, unless, of course, Nino's not in the party. Uh, remove curse, remove disease. We're technically already in the party if we bring Stossel and Camille in. Seeing Cloud on your own. Okay, so Muster 3 is not bad. Really, though, I think. Still Curse? I don't know, except some of these bad guys are resistant to Curse. We already have a Slumber. We already have a Sleep Spell. Oh, but this affects 10 hit dive targets, which is definitely a higher level. Hmm. Spell magic. And on ongoing spells, when we cast on a creature, one effect from a spell and select this point. So if somebody else casts web, basically, we could dispel it. Curses the creature touched. And so animals all attack it. Okay. Remove blindness, remove a curse. Yeah, see, these are great, but we only get one. We only get one. Since we only get one, like, if it was a wizard, I would totally get, like, all three of those, or be able to learn them or something, but we don't get to do that right now. So I'm going to go cure serious wounds right now and just go with it. I think we have one more. Yeah, we got Lawn leveled up. Keep it your Zen Archer. Get a ton of attacks per round. That's where we want you. Uh, get that additional bark skin, I think. That'll be fine. He can't deflect arrows. He just doesn't have the uh, doesn't have any free hands. Ignore anything but total concealment and cover. Sounds good. Let's do that. I think that's it, right? That's it. Okay, we did everybody else. Fantastic. Sila wanted to talk to us. Where did Sila go? There's a recruit over there. I think Sila. She was up here. Yeah, there she is. Good to see you. Get this. Jana, the one who ran away when we were attacked by demons, never went back to her unit. She was seen running towards Numeria. Looks like she deserted. Anyway, it's not what I wanted to talk about. Or, not the only thing. Since I raided the Hound Heart's camp, I've had the singing feeling that I made a mistake. Dragging you into this, I mean. I should have known a raid along the edge of the world wound wouldn't be easy. But, mostly I was wrong about a lot of people. About Jana, who lost her nerve and abandoned her friends. About Curl. I knew he was a thief, but I really thought he turned over a new leaf and deserved a little compassion and trust. And Elon. I thought we were kindred spirits, friends through thick and thin. Ah, it looks like I was wrong about him, too. See, so he looks at you closely, waiting for your answer. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, well, definitely not the evil options. <laughs> Basically, I don't care. Live your own life. That's funny, but probably not helpful right now. Um, so... Let's go with a good option. The lawful one just seems a little bit messed up. So don't lose your trust in people, Isila. So what if you made a few mistakes? There's no reason to give up on your ideals. Somebody has to show people there's a better path. Okay, there we go. She's very happy with that. Fantastic. Thanks for listening to my grumbling. For helping me get to the bottom of this. I'm not going to leave things as they stand. If I get the chance, I'll track down John and see if I can talk some sense into her. And find out what Curl did or what he did. Can't stop thinking about what Elon told me in the end. I really have become more powerful than paladins and far more experienced and selfless than me. There's something not right about it. A servant of Imode should gain their powers through dedicated personal effort. It's the only way to make sure they'll use the power for good. Our journey so far, it's all wrong. And it means I need to be three times as hard on myself now. Okay, well, she at least talked about it. I don't know if that's the right conclusion to draw, but... Too little too late. Darren's there. Um, field medic. Where's the quartermaster? Is this the quartermaster? No, that's chapel tent. Crusader. There's loot there. Crusader, Crusader, Crusader. Hawkblade is the Inquisitor. Oh, hello there. I uh, can't help but notice you're striding in... Oh, I thought she was striding towards my tent. Message for the commander. I'm the queen's bodyguard. She sent me to tell you she's arrived at Camp Incognito as planned. You can find her with a minor knight of the Order's account. Maybe we should speak with her. Alright, I will visit her when time permits. I guess I can go to her right this very second, but come on. I guess I could just rest. Could just rest. 
Airbath and you. Tearblade is not the Quartermaster. It, I thought it said specifically, like, Quartermaster's tent or something. Wasn't he just around here? No, I can't seem to find him. I could have sworn. There's Camilla there. Maybe... Uh, well, I mean, these are the playwrights. Or the players, rather, not playwrights. Worm? I mean, maybe he was acting as a Quartermaster? Mysterious Elf. What the what now? Damn soldier. Oh, okay. And off she went. That was weird. Oh, here we go. He's the Quartermaster. So, yeah. Saw you talking to the girl hiding her face. Who was she? What did she want? I don't know, Commander. She never introduced herself, but I bet she's not part of our army. I know all our soldiers by name and by sight. Whilst her frowns gloomy is totally gone in an instant. She was looking for some elf volunteer? I wanted to know which, elf, which tent he was sleeping in. I pretend that she was a messenger from Mendev. She definitely wasn't one of us. But now I see how it looks almighty shifty. Quartermaster Izzy was concerned. She was some sort of spy then. Damn it. Um, unfortunately, we can't really seem to pursue it. Right, show me what you have. I'm going to go ahead and sell you some garbage here. Don't need that. Or that, or that, or that, or that, or that. Yep. And don't need that. Don't think anyone else can use the heavy shield, but I'll keep it just in case I'm wrong. Actually, can't he use it? Actually, no. He uses two handed weapons, so no shield for him. Okay, then. Well, then let's just sell it. And then sell the garbage here. A lot of garbage. There you go. Okay, there's a dagger plus one, which is fine, but it's not cold iron, so that seems problematic. Yeah, I think we had that problem in here before, right? I don't think there's anything here we really want. Air protection plus two. 8,000, though, so we can't really afford it. Which is funny that it's not red. You think it'd be red? Because we can't afford it. But no. There it is. Loves of dueling? Against disarm attempts. Huh. Interesting idea. Can't do anything about it, though. Yeah, we've got a bunch of other garbage in here. Okay, don't worry about it. We're good. Uh, there's usable stuff in there. Ingredients we don't want to use right now. We can sell this stuff. We'll go ahead and keep this stuff right now. We're good. That's all I really wanted to do. We do it my way. Okay, maybe we could maybe we should go rest. Let's go rest up. It's not quick for sure, but go and rest. Uh we might need to do this. So Darren's usually really good at this, so he can go ahead and take over. There we go. But we still don't have a we still don't have a scrubber scroll kit. Hold on. Back out, back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. We've got to buy. Let's go outside. Oh, we could leave. Okay, we go to the map immediately. We don't have to go through the camp. So that's good to know. Let's go back over to the quartermaster. He's got to have a scribing kit, right? There you are. Garms, buddy, pal, friend of mine. Please tell me you have a scribing kit somewhere. It would be in usable, maybe? No, not usables. Not notables. Not ingredients. Never mind. No scrubbing kit for me. Yeah, this is all the stuff I just sold him. Hmm. Totally forgot about the severed head. Uh, yeah, that's an issue. Scribe. Nope. No scrubbing kits. Okay, well then. Never mind. So much for the quartermaster. Hard to find that somewhere else. That was weird. I just heard somebody go kathunk. I don't know what that was. Okay, go rest. And definitely put Darren on duty. I mean, I would put Nino on duty for this, because she's obviously the most suited. Just that, you know, we can't actually, you know, scribe anything. We could try doing it here, but it's not going to let us do it. Because they're all red. So she can't actually do it. It's too bad. Um, yep, I'm sure we can't do anything about it. So... No rules available, just rest up. Hmm, everyone looks rather busy. And yet there's nothing for me to do to help the crusade? Oh, what a pity. 
I suppose being bone idol is also an important task. By right of blood, I claim this duty as my own. Ah, uh, Darren, always willing to help out in the best ways. Okay, great. Everyone got a hearty meal. Eight hours later. Okay, let's go talk to the queen. She's supposed to be around here somewhere. Um, I don't suppose we have a map of the area. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so Queen Galfrey's directly to, well, over here this way. This way, come on. Go, go, go. Now there's Lon, the Crusader, and the Queen should be, oh, I totally missed that. What if I go here, and then click here, and then I should be able to see the Queen? Eventually, you know, as we walk over here. There we go. Hey, what a suspicious looking knight. Hello, suspicious looking knight. As promised, I entered the ranks incognito along with a few bodyguards. I have introduced myself as Katron, an old friend of yours. I'm a knight of a minor order, the Green Crows. We shall see how long it takes the Navy to sniff me out. Okay. Um, need more soldiers. Yep, that is true. All the forces I can afford to spare, they're in your army already are on their way here. We can call up volunteers, but if your headquarters sends out letters and appeals in the Queen's name, everyone will know that I came with you. The demons will not miss such an opportunity. Their hordes will advance and overwhelm us. Not much of an option. Talk to Arabeth. Let her handle volunteer recruitment. My name will remain hidden, much like my participation in the crusade. Alright, so you don't really have anything to tell me, basically. You just wanted to say hi. Okay, so I'm leaving. Yeah, could train the knight. Alright. Really wish you had not just told me you're there. Like, if, if you hadn't told me, then I could at least feign ignorance if I was asked. But I suppose if she's supposed to be a friend of mine, that doesn't really work, does it? Uh, well, Larba said it would take, cost like 18000 or something to get in you guys, so um, we're not there yet. So let's go ahead and go to our next mission, wherever that turns out to be. For this one, I think we want to bring in the Inquisitor. Or no, we need uh, we need Darren for this. Let's bring Darren. We can do that. There's something we need to bring him for. He could probably replace Sila. So let's do that. Let's see how this goes. Not bringing Sila seems weird, but it might work out. Okay, so we want to go here, to the cemetery. So I guess, go down... I guess, can we go this way? Oh, there we go. Totally worked. Cemetery can be run over by and dead. Elderly man limps toward the grave and clumsily throws a handful of soil inside. How unfair. They were all so young that they had their whole lives ahead of them. They sacrificed themselves, and an old cripple like me still lives. An elven woman with her face bathed in tears steps up to the grave. She whispers, painting. It burned like everything else in the house. There's nothing left for me to remember you by. Nothing. A young man throws a handful of soil in the open grave and stands beside it for a while, lost in thought. Finally, he sighs and steps back. I've seen more of a, I don't know, a petulant throw? Sosa throws a handful of soil on the grave in front of him. He takes a breath and prepares to speak, but it seems he simply cannot find the right words. The cleric wipes his tear-filled eyes, gathers his resolve, and says in a gentle voice, I wish you a warm welcome in Shayan's realm. We will win this war, I swear to you. We'll banish as ugly as it's evil, make the world richer, and let peace blossom in it. We'll make sure anything like this, this... He breaks into sobs mid-sentence and falls asleep silent without finishing his declaration. Wow. They're dead? What's the big deal? Holy shit. Just be a bastard, apparently. Um, how about this? Lawful's pretty good. You fought honorably to remain steadfast in your duty until your final breath. Your deeds will not be forgotten. The other mour mourners aggressively raise their fists in the air, inspired by your words. Huzzah! Lord of the Heroes of the Crusade, never forget. What is that? An elder woman shrieks in horror, disrupting the atmosphere of the silent morning. Her trembling hands points at something moving inside a grave. Suddenly, a corpse climbs out of the ground, 
wafting a horrible stench from its rotting body. It's a zombie! Run! Yeah, all the citizens should probably leave. That'd be a good idea. Ooh, that's a lot of undead. All right, and they're chasing after the civilians. That can't be good. Okay. We've also got a lot of zombies on our own here. Wooljif gets to go first. That seems like a bad idea. Um, you know what? A pit might not be a bad idea. Or grease. Like, these guys can't have very good, like, decks, right? Their reflex is plus three. Doesn't seem that great. They can't be stunned. Can't get ability score damage. Alright, so we should be able to, like, open a pit or a grease or something and be fine. So maybe we grease, like, up here. Let them all fall down as they come for us, and we deal with the zombie lords down here. Because these guys are just regular zombies, right? Oh, no, there's a lot of zombie lords. Uh, level 5, level 4, level 2, level 4, and level 4. We got some grease. Let's do it. This grease, like, right here should affect all three of them. Right about there. Only the... No, only the regular zombie fell down. That's too bad. All right, we'll do a five-foot step this way. All right, Darren. Uh, blessing would not go amiss right now. There we go. Zombie can't pick himself up. All good. Goward, good deal with this guy. Oh, he's got reduced damage. God damn it. Okay, so, so I don't actually know what you can do. Okay, you get an unnatural luck. You really like luck, apparently. Touch good. Positive energy, which probably damage a bunch of these zombies. Um, you would think it would, but maybe what we need to do is actually... Oh, there's prayer there. So everyone gets a plus one, and then all the bad guys get an egg one. That happens for... How long? Then a 40-fit burst. One round per level. So, okay. So six rounds. It's not bad. Might be worth it. The spelling is not going to work. Um, sure. Go ahead and pray. There. And then go ahead and start moving towards this guy. Oh. Two bonuses the same type of reflex, and they don't add up. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Can't actually hit that guy yet. Zombie Lord made his save over the grease. Amber, you probably want to cast a spell, but maybe not right where you are. Let's go ahead and back up. And then... I go ahead and just... You're piecing the screen, this guy. Okay, nine damage. Something. Amber goes for... Oh, Amber there. Okay. Sossel. Um, you probably want to go ahead and take a nice five a step back. I don't think you need to use Cold Iron for these guys. Pretty sure regular attacks will work. Nice. Okay, three good attacks. Zombie Lord falls down. Zombie Lord hits Ember for some reason. Well, Ember definitely needs to go. We'll just go and stab this guy. One more. Thank you. And then go walk over towards these guys, because they're asking for it. Right over here. Oh, you're Darren. Sorry, Darren. Uh, you know what? Channel positive energy to heal. Uh, you're probably better off just healing Ember straight, huh? All right, heal Ember straight here. Where's Ember? Oh, she's all the way over there. Heal Ember straight there. There you go. Much better. Thank you. You're still down. Great. Goward, you're surrounded, but that's okay. Get three attacks against this guy. One, two, three. Yeah, next level is going to be great. We're not there yet, though. Smack here. Ooh, good hits. 
Amber, go ahead and step five feet over this way, please. Thank you. And a nice little cascade here would not be bad. Burning hands is not what I was thinking of. Maybe burning arc. Nice. Good job, Ember. That's why we like you. Good old whiff. Like it. Okay, that was less of a whiff. Alright, Lon. Can totally shoot these guys. So this guy's hurt. Hit him. Make every strike count. Nice. Yeah, just keep on going for bad guys. Ooh, another guy just climbed out of the ground. That was not too bad. Oh, there's Zombie Lord. Is there any necromancer around or something just raising these guys? There's gotta be, right? Hey, Will Jeff, this guy came right up to you. Go ahead and give, pay him the favor here. Something. Take it. Uh, Darren, you should probably step back. Yeah, over there's fine. And I don't know. In your prayer, maybe? I don't think that'll stack with anything here. I'm just thinking, like, the damage. But really, if we want damage, I feel like Bone Shaker or something. Let's shake your bones. Oh, that Bone Shaker won't work on you, right? Because it's Necromantic spell. And that won't work. Okay, no, I got it. I got you. We've already blessed, so that's not really going to work. Uh, we could always summon a bad guy. We'd summon a monster. Probably help out. Summon a monster. Don't do that. Summon the monster. Summon no summoning? Oh, there we go. Summon... Summon a wolf. That sounds good. Summon a wolf right over... Maybe with these guys? If he attacks someone on the ground, that, that could be interesting, I guess. Okay. There's the wolf. Hello, wolf. How you doing? Zombies are still down. You go ahead and punch this guy, please. Okay, go ahead and smack this guy. Be gone, fiend! Nice. You should probably heal yourself here. Do you have any dummy potions to you? No, you should probably also fight defensively. I know it'll be a negative on the attack rolls, but you are kind of surrounded, to be fair. None of your spells can be used as a move action, huh? That's too bad. Alright, so, so hold on. Let me get you some stuff here. There you go. And then you can actually, you know, kill yourself. It's not much, but, you know, it's honest work. Alright, Ember, you need to step back. Uh, let's go this way. Don't know if that's going to be far enough, but I'll pretend. Your recent scream right here might finish you off. Not, not, not at that rate. No, not the forge you save made. Another zombie lord. Good old whiff. I like it. Like the whiff. Nice, nice. Okay, Lon, go ahead and shoot, say, this guy, so we'll just get back and right here. Nice. Not too bad. Good old whiff. We'll drift. Please come up here and stab this guy. Pretty good. Pretty good. Darren. Give me that good old bane. Negative one on attack rolls and saving throws against fear. No, no, no. I see. Minus one on attack rolls is something. Let's do that, I guess. Okay. Bane on the bad guys is good. Wolf attacks the ghoul. That's something. The ghoul cannot get up. There we go, perfect. Okay, well, let's, let's get in there. Sosal, go ahead and hit this guy. Oh, tad to miss, didn't you, Sosal? One more drink, please. Okay, Ember. Give me a nice, good blazing arc, maybe? Or a scorching ray. Let's do a scorching ray. 46, right on you. Or, you know, whiff entirely, also possible. Ooh, that's 12 damage. No movement for you. Lon, go ahead and start shooting. And yeah, I guess the guys down there aren't really a threat. You lost these the guys. wrong mongrel. Nice. Uh, we got nobody left standing over here, so we'll just come over here and stab this dude. To start. 
Um, I mean, Cure Light Wounds seems like that would actually hurt these guys. That does seem a little silly, doesn't it? Why don't you go and instead go ahead and cure the Light Wounds of Coward here. There we go. Mostly healed. Nice. Good job, little wolf. Coward can move all the way over here and attack, so go for it, Coward. I trust you won't fall in the grease. You did not fall in the grease. Oh, zero damage. God damn it. Alright, you, so so, I do not trust to not fall in the grease. So you're gonna go the long way. Oh, you're also gonna get there really slowly. Okay, well, you know, don't rush or anything. Uh, Amber, I guess you could shoot. Oh, no, if you shoot, you're gonna shoot webs, aren't you? Of course you are. Of course you are. So give her a point blank shot. You're still gonna do that. Um, I don't know. Drop his AC or something. I don't think that's actually gonna work. Yep, immune to the evil eye. Okay, that's what I thought. Lon, go ahead and just finish this guy off for me, please. There we go. With a heavy heart, Sosa looks at the corpses of his friend returned to rest by his own hand. What is this twisted mockery? Who could possibly... Wait, what's this? He bends down and recovers something from the ground. Take a look at this. Sosa hands off a black onyx gem to you. Once precious, this stone now covered in cracks, falling apart in your grip as you examine the engraved minotaur's head. The unholy symbol of Baphomet. The cleric's voice, perplexed at first, fills with rage as he speaks. Cultists. Simply murdering my friends is not enough for them. No, they had to come to the funeral and desecrate their graves. Alright, looks like some of the townspeople were only feigning their grief. These demon worshippers are everywhere. How understand why the Inquisitors of Canabras became so paranoid. Wait, the townspeople fled the undead without knowing they have a traitor among them? Wherever they are, they're in great danger. We must find them. Okay, so we have to go find the cultist. Let's maybe get out of the grease, guys. So, do we turn around, right? Oh, we should probably go ahead and loot the corpses if there's anything there. Nope, nothing really there. Alright, well, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I'm Peace of the Universe here, Peace of the Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.